So imagine this for a second. You start up TF2 one day, and you're playing heavy. Maybe it's a casual game, maybe it's a pub, but it's definitely not competitive because, well, no one plays that. Your team's winning, and you're a big factor in why you win, constantly driving their front line back, getting kills, and pushing the card. Because you're being such a nuisance, the enemy team decides to pick something that counters you. Under these circumstances, you might feel tempted to buckle and switch to a class that you're less influential with for the sake of not being targeted, but this is often unnecessary. Even if the Heavy is far from an infallible class, you often do have ways to deal with his counterpicks, especially if the people playing them aren't that experienced and they're just switching classes out of desperation. In this particular video, I'm going to be looking at one of the Heavy's most frequent go-to counters, the Spy, and analyzing what Heavy players can do to hopefully die to him less while still being a force to be reckoned with during matches. Now, the Spy is probably the most common counterpick you'll be running into in your time playing Heavy, and this is because, out of the two big Heavy counters in the game, the Spy and the Sniper, the Spy is by far the most accessible. This isn't to say the class is easy, it's not, but if you're a new player without as much mechanical development as a veteran, then using your cloak to get in close and go for a backstab may seem much easier than lining up a headshot on a moving target. Not to mention that if you're a new player and you get caught out of position as a sniper, you're essentially screwed. Most people don't know how to instantly snap into headshots, and without that, the sniper's options in close quarters are… limited, to say the least. The spy at least has his cloak and his disguises, which often mean that even if you get caught out, you at least have a small chance of getting away. Still, out of the two of them, the spy's probably the easiest one to deal with. You probably already heard all the basic tips. Check behind you regularly, once every couple of seconds if possible, listen for your team or your friends if they call out for spies, keep your game volume up at a decent level so you can hear if someone's backstabbed near you, and always spy check. If you do these things well enough, you should theoretically be invulnerable to spies. However, this is a big case of easier said than done, since a good level of mindfulness can be hard to maintain when you're dealing with the enemy's front line, on top of the impending threat of being backstabbed. But mindfulness is just one of those things that you have to get good at if you want to main heavy. And fortunately, I have a couple of tips that might make it easier for you. Finding positions in which you're troublesome to reach is a great way to inconvenience spies. Take for example this little balcony area and upward. There are three main points of access here. One is a small hill over which I'm watching. The other is the stairwell behind me, and the last is the long catwalk leading from the second point to the first, which is hard to access because the enemy team has to go all the way around the first point to get to it. Approaching me from the front is obviously a gamble, because the spy risks bumping into me or running across my bullets, so they'll most likely try to get behind me. This makes it easier to watch my back since they only really have one angle of attack. Of course, they could always try to go through the catwalk, but there's still a good chance I'll catch them and with how long it takes them to get around, just forcing them to do that is almost worth the death. This is far from the only spot in the game that's good for this. When looking to position yourself as heavy, always look for a spot in which it would be hard for the enemy team to get up close and personal against you without first coming to face your minigun. Since this usually fits the already established doctrine of getting high ground, it most likely shouldn't be very hard. Another thing you might want to try and do is think as a spy does. So we've all been in that kind of situation where we spot a spy in our back line, we try to chase after them, but after a while we don't find them and we decide to head back to our team. Then, the moment we least expect it, boom, in comes a backstab. The spy is a very cerebral class, and players who know how to use them efficiently will try to bait you into disadvantageous positions to set up a kill. In order to avoid that, try to imagine your own thought process if you were playing a spy. Look at your team comp and at your positioning. Where are the holes? When can you go in for a kill? Try to use this information to tighten up your play. Adapt and make it hard for the spy to find opportunities to go in. If you're feeling particularly risky, you can also try to bait him out of hiding by showing your back and then killing him last minute when he starts heading for you. More than anything though, be careful. The spy has the speed advantage and he has the cloak. He's the one setting the pace of the fight. Don't go getting cocky and thinking you don't have to worry about him just because you've killed him a couple of times. Always be on your guard and always be ready to react when he makes his move. Finally, the last tip I can give you is that sometimes you just get backstabbed. Maybe you got outplayed, maybe you weren't paying attention, maybe you got overwhelmed by more spies than you can count. Doesn't matter. Every heavy, no matter how good, gets bodied sometimes. Accept this as a fact to play in your class and move on. Don't let it get to you and don't let it affect your play save for making any adjustment you can to make sure it doesn't happen again. And with that, I think I'll be wrapping up this video. I hope some of you found it useful. I'll try to make more like this in the future, but with school on the horizon, I can't quite guarantee when the next one will be out. Until then, however, stay safe, have fun, and hopefully we'll talk soon.